Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given these two numbers in one particular number system. And here, we have been asked to find the base of these two numbers. Now here, since we do not know the base of these numbers, so what we can do, we can convert these two numbers in the decimal equivalent and we can equate them. So if you are aware, then if we have any number in some particular base B number system, then this is how it can be converted into the decimal equivalent. That means by expressing that number in the powers of B, we can convert that number into the decimal equivalent, where this B is the base of that number. So in this case, this 1, 2, 3, 5 can be expressed as x cube plus 2x square plus 3x plus 5. Similarly, this 3033 3, 3 can be expressed in decimal as 3 times y cube plus 3 times y plus 3. And here, since these two numbers are equal, so we can equate these two expressions. That means here, this x cube plus 2x square plus 3x plus 5 is equal to 3y cube plus 3y plus 3. Now here, to find the value of x and y, what we can do? We can put the values of x and y which is given to us in the four options. So first of all, let us put the value of x is equal to 7 and y is equal to 5. So when we put the value of x is equal to 7, then we will get this 7 cube plus 2 times 7 square plus 3 times 7 plus 5. That is equal to 467. Similarly, if we put the value of y as 5, then we will get 3 times 5 cube plus 3 times 5 plus 3. That is equal to 393. And since these two numbers are not equal, so we can ensure that this A is not an answer. Similarly, let us try this option B. So in this option B, we have been given that x is equal to 8 and y is equal to 6. So let us put the value of x is equal to 8. So we can write 8 cube plus 2 times 8 square plus 3 times 8 plus 5. That is equal to 669. Similarly, let us put the value of y is equal to 6. So if you put the value of y is equal to 6 in this expression, then we can write 3 times 6 cube plus 3 times 6 plus 3, which is equal to 669. And as you can see, since these two numbers are equal, that means this b is the correct answer. That means the value of x is equal to 8 and y is equal to 6. And here, just to double check, we can also try the option c and d. So if you try the option c, and put the value of x is equal to c, then for this expression, the value is equal to 311. While for the y, if you put the value of y is equal to 4, then we will get 207. That means this c is not an answer. Similarly, we can also try the option d. So if you try this option d, then for the value of x is equal to 9, we will get 923. While for the y is equal to 7, we will get 1053. And since these two numbers are not equal, therefore this D is not an correct option. And from this we can say that the base of the first number is equal to 8, while the base of the second number is equal to 6. And therefore, for the given question, this B is the correct answer.